subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Predict the products of electrolysis of aqueous solution. By looking at the electrolytic cell of an aqueous solution, can you tell which ion will be selectively discharged? What is the expected product? How are you going to predict the product of the electrolysis? At the end of this lesson, students should be able to predict the products of electrolysis of aqueous solution. Rules of thumb In electrolysis of aqueous solution, there are four different ions present. Two ions from dissociation of the solute and two more ions are hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions from water. Two anions will be attracted to the anode and two cations will be attracted to cathode. In either case, only one cation and one anion will be selectively discharged. How to decide which ion will be discharged? In order to choose which ion will be discharged, always check on these factors. First, type of electrode used. Then, the position of the ion in the electrochemical series. And last, the concentration of the ion. Do you still remember how to use these factors to decide which ion will be released at the anode and at the cathode? Click on any of these factors for a quick revision Type of electrode If inert electrode is used, like carbon or platinum, the selection of ion at the anode or cathodes are based on the position of the ion in the electrochemical series. Always select the lowest ion in the series. If not inert electrode is used, metals other than graphite and platinum, such as copper or zinc, at the cathode, the selection is still based on the position of the ion in the electrochemical series. On the other hand, no ion will be discharged at the anode. Anode will be ionized instead. Click on the back button to continue. Position of the ion in the electrochemical series Choose ion in the lowest position. Ion in the lowest position of the electrochemical series has the highest tendency to be discharged. For example, if hydroxide ions and chloride ions are attracted to the anode, which one will be selectively discharged? Click on the anion to be selectively discharged at the anode. Yes, since hydroxide ions are lower than chloride ions in the electrochemical series, thus, hydroxide ions will be discharged at the anode by losing electron. If hydrogen ions and copper II ions are attracted to cathode, which ion will be discharged? Click on the cation to be selectively discharged at the cathode. Yes, since copper II ions are lower than hydrogen ions in the electrochemical series, hence, copper II ion will be discharged by gaining electrons. Click on the back button to continue. The concentration of ions if the electrolyte used is dilute aqueous solution, selection of ion to be discharged is based on its position in the electrochemical series. Always choose ion in the lowest position because the lowest ion in the series is the easiest to be discharged. If the electrolyte used is concentrated, this means there are more ions from dissociation of solute the ions from water. 
Therefore, both anion and cation from the solute will be selectively discharged. Exceptional to sodium ion and potassium ion. Sodium ion and potassium ion have stronger tendency to exist as ions than atoms or molecules. Click on the back button to continue. Predict the products. Let's put your skill and understanding to test. Predict the product of electrolysis of aqueous solution in various conditions. Choose which problem would you like to solve by clicking on the electrolytic cell. Based on the setup, try to predict the product of the electrolysis of dilute copper 2 chloride solution. Fill in the table. Click on the Info button if you need an information. Click on the Check button to check your answer. Once you are done, click on the Back button. Based on the setup, try to predict the product of the electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride solution. Fill in the table. Click on the Info button if you need an information. Click on the Check button to check your answer. Once you are done, click on the Back button. Based on the setup, try to predict the product of the electrolysis of dilute silver nitrate solution. Fill in the table. Click on the Info button if you need an information. 
Click on the check button to check your answer. Once you are done, click on the back button. Based on the setup, try to predict the product of the electrolysis of dilute silver nitrate solution. Fill in the table. Click on the info button if you need an information. Click on the check button to check your answer. Once you are done, click on the back button. At the end of this lesson, students have learned that three factors affect the selection of ion to be discharged must be considered before predicting the product of electrolysis of an aqueous solution. The three factors are 1. Type of electrode 2. The position of the ion in the electrochemical series 3. The concentration of the ions Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.